Hi folks, Steve Jobs here. Got another episode for you. We're gonna be making a lathe table for uh, Joey Beats's uh, lathe working. Gonna try to step up his game a little bit from what he's been using. And uh, we're gonna start on that today. So hopefully you enjoy this video. To make this lathe table for Joey Beats, we need to check and see what his size was for his optimum height for using the lathe. And we've already taken that measurement of him just standing here like with his arms like that at a good spot for him to use the lathe. And we determined that that was about 46 inches. We then measured from the bottom of the lathe, obviously this is the miter saw, we measured from the bottom of the lathe to the center of the spindle. And we determined that that was 13 inches. So we're going to make our legs 33 inches long for this build. So I have my cut list here of four pieces of 33 inches long. I've got four pieces of 23 inches long, and then I've got 10 pieces of seven inches long. So I'm gonna go ahead and start marking those for our cuts. So far we've cut the wood for the legs, the height of the legs, now we've got to cut the wood for the frames that go around him. Alright, we got our 33 inch legs cut, we got our 23 inch and seven inch pieces cut to build the frame around that. And now we're gonna start putting in some uh, pocket holes so we can get our, our jig out and start pre prepping that. Now that we've uh, drilled our pilot holes or for the screw holes, and we're gonna go ahead and start doing some uh, assembly of the legs first. Height of our table now. Okay, go ahead and put in our uh, seven inch pieces in between and uh, start putting this baby together. All right, we're gonna put these seven inch pieces in between our two frames that we've already built. This time we'll be uh, putting a little bit of uh, tight bond glue on here and assembling that and then uh, connecting it with our uh, pocket hole screws like we did before. One thing we do want to remember is that we want to put the places where we drilled our pocket hole drill screw hole, screws in. We're going to put that on the inside of our bench. So we're not going to look at those pocket holes screws. All right. And we'll be assembling this in a minute. All right. Now we're going to be assembling this part onto the other side of our frame. Put some glue down and I'll uh, manipulate some of those pocket hole screws, see what I can do. I may need a shorter bit than what I have here. Let's see how it goes. Well, after we uh, 
assembled the entire stand. I ended up using a ratchet and socket to put those uh, in because of the tight fit. We went ahead and we've cut two pieces for our top. We'll go ahead and uh, talk with the uh, person who this is for and see if they want to use this with the edges with the overhang or if we want to cut that down just to finish it off smooth. That'll be our next step and then we'll be assembling this with some glue and uh, probably some brads. We have the top of our lady stand finished on the top. Go ahead and we'll cut some more pieces and we'll work on the bottom shelf at this time. All right, so we got our top put on, we got our bottom shelf put on, and the next step, before, right before we sand, I wanna go ahead and drive in a little bit more of these nails that went in, because I don't want them to catch on my sander when we get into that process. So, here we go. Now that we've sunk all of our uh, brads into the wood, now it's time to sand. And you're saying that looks really poor joinery. And you would be right. Uh, this is all reclaimed wood from a uh, package that my neighbor had received that we went ahead and salvaged and restored. And we're making something useful out of it for a, a lathe table for uh, Joey Beats. So now it's on to the sanding. All right, there you have it. There's the uh, lay stand that we have uh, made in one day from uh, recycled wood. Uh, we got the uh, lathe up here in position and maybe you check out some other Joey Beats video. He does some lathe turning that I think is really cool and uh, you might enjoy it as well. So if you have any other comments for us, please uh, leave them in the comments section. If you uh, like this video, please like it and I'll be sure to subscribe to the Joey Beast channel and hopefully you'll see a few more Steve's Jobs episodes as well. Have a good night.